Anyone who has ever coached Little League ball will tell you, it's not the kids, it's the parents. Okay, having coached quite a bit of Little League ball, sometimes it really is the kids. But most of the time, parents are the ones who have to be told to behave. And even when the little darlings do get out of line, it's not too difficult to figure out where they learned it. The home really is the most influential force in shaping the character of a child. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, God told Israel to impress His commandments on their children, to talk about them when they sat at home and when they walked along the road and when they lay down at night and when they got up in the morning. In other words, at every opportunity, they were to teach, talk, and train their children to honor God. But before He told them to talk to their children, He said to the parents, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Moms, dads, before we can offer it, we have to own it. Before we talk it, we got we to walk it. Kids have a built-in inauthenticity detector. If they don't see in us what they hear us say, what we say won't even go in one ear. It's essential that we say the right things. It's critical that we back up what we say with how we live, which raises a really troubling question for some of us. What if you've already blown it? What if your kids have already seen you commit a major league, world-class, epic failure? Well, I've got bad news and good news. The bad news is... No one has yet invented a time machine that enables to go back into the past and get a do-over. I'm looking at you, scientists. There are no mulligans in life. The good news is you now have an opportunity to teach your children a valuable life lesson. You can show your children what a Christian does when he or she fails. They confess it honestly, they repent completely, and they do it right the next time. That's maybe the most important lesson you can teach because one day your kids are going to feel the irresistible pull of temptation. They will experience the thrill of sin and then they'll know it's bitter aftertaste. And when that happens, and it will, they'll need someone to show them how Christians get up when they fall. Who better than you? Not a sermon, just a thought. <laughs>